Hi everybody, it's Mary and it's my great honor to come to you today to talk about the Lancome Holiday Sets with my good friend Susan from the channel Susan W. Now you're going to want to go check out her channel too because Lancome, um, as usual, they usually have two holiday sets and so I usually get both <laughs> and so does she. So she got this one over here. So you're going to want to go to her channel to see that one. Uh, she is wearing it as I am wearing that one. Okay. And she'll talk about everything that's in this, which is similar to what's in this with just different colors. Okay. So I got the neutral kit <laughs> and she got the purple kit. Okay. So this is what the box looks like when you get it. And the price is $60, $59. If it's different than that, I'll put it right there. But I, I think it's $59. And what you got to do is you have to buy something from Longco. Now, it used to be you had to purchase something of $35 and then you got the kit. But now, I guess you can just buy anything from, <laughs> from them. It doesn't have to be you know $35 and you can get this it says on the box that it features 11 full-size items but I'm gonna tell you it doesn't really only features eight full-size items now possibly what they're doing is they're taking these two palettes here together and they're saying that these are full-size but they are not and I'll show you why in just a minute um, okay, so this is called the La Parisienne Holiday Set, and inside of it comes this brochure that shows you what the colors are called, because um, unlike Lancome of the past, it doesn't say on the bottom of the eyeshadows what they are. So this little book tells you, and they, and they say it's day and night look. You know me. <laughs> I just matched my outfit. <laughs> so this is what I did with those palettes. And I'm gonna probably have to put on my glasses here in a second so that I can read to you. But I wanted to show you some differences. Okay, so every Lancome holiday set comes with a case. And it's always a very nice case. This year, the case looks like this. And I've not taken any of the plastic off. Um, so that you could see what it looks like when you get it. So there's a little black and white rose here on the top. And there now there is some differences. Now this here um, is the long comb, a gold long comb tag. Um, which I'm not going to pull off here yet. It, just, it says long comb on it. Um, and then these are new. These are covered with uh, a plastic. Okay, this is new. Lancome usually has a rose on their lipsticks and stuff uh, imprinted on their makeup. Uh, sometimes the cheeks or the lip or the um, some of their products have an imprinted rose on them. Okay, so that's what's on these. Whereas in years past, and see like here's last year's bag. So um, they always had these little Eiffel Towers before. So I'm not really sure why that they don't have the Eiffel Towers anymore. Um, another difference in the holiday set and from years past is the eyeshadows. Here's the size of a full long comb shadow. Uh, this one is called Vintage and it's a matte, you know. So it's slightly bigger than a quarter. Uh, and this one's been loved to death. It's long combs and press. And, um, you know, so you would get like two or three of these in the past holiday kits. But um, this year they've decided to go with palettes. Mini, little mini palettes. Okay, which I'm not thrilled at all about. I'll just give that to you right there. But I will tell you this. Even if you don't have the palettes in here, it's still worth the money for everything else that you get. Okay, so let's open it up. And this is what you see when you open up the case. So what you get is all right you get a little a little thing of genifique which of course isn't enough to last you but a week but that's okay this is a full-size 
by Facil, which in my opinion is the best eye makeup remover there was ever made, is by Facil. Yeah. You get a full size juicy tube. That's there, that's Lancome's lip gloss. I have it on. Um, in fact, I have on everything in here. Yep, I do, except for that. <laughs> um, okay, so this is our full size lip gloss. If you've never tried a Lancome lip gloss, mm, it smells like juicy fruit, I think. <laughs> And they are just gorgeous. They glide on, last forever. And they don't have a sticky or a an annoying feel to them at all. So the juicy tubes are very nice. Um, I will put the prices for all this stuff here so you can just start adding that up. So this, you get a full-size juicy tube. You get a full-size bifacial. You get a full-size mascara, which <laughs> this mascara, is not my favorite long home mascara. Susan will apps will be demonstrating that. Um, if I were going to go to a long home counter and purchase a mascara, this is not the one it would be. But I have everything in this kit on today, including the mascara. Okay, so my very favorite product that long home makes is called Sills Booster XL. It's a mascara primer. And if you don't know this, then you have not been around my channel very long <laughs> because I absolutely, uh, I give this away as prizes. I love this. I've tested this against Dior and so many other primers. It's not funny. Everybody who's been here long, for a little bit knows that Mary loves this product. And this product sells for $25. And this one is $27. So we're almost there to the total cost of this kit. All right. Then this eyeliner down here, I tell you what, I, I didn't use this one because I already have one open. Okay, so this is the Le, this is their Le Crayon Cole, their Cole eyeliner, and it's in Black Ebony. So Black Ebony just glides right on. I wear it in my waterline and I tight line with it. And then below that is one of long, which I've not opened yet, is one of their brushes. I've got last year's open, so I'll just go ahead and show you. I think that the two are not the same. This looks like a more straight brush. Let's just take it out and compare it. Okay, so this one here is more of a straight, whereas last year's was an, a fluffy angle. But let me tell you what, this, these ends, oh my gosh, these are so good for getting right underneath your lash line. And I have washed this brush a zillion times. I'm telling you, the long comb brushes that come with their stuff, they really are good brushes. So you won't want to throw these away. Long comb gives you pretty nice brushes with their stuff. Okay, so that takes care of that. Then we've got two full-size lipsticks. And both of these are from the Color Design Collection. So this one is Trendy Mauve, and this one is Designer Bloom. Okay, so let me show you those. Naturally, everything in these kits is meant to go together and matches. So you really can't go wrong. So here they are. This one is Designer Bloom. And Designer Bloom is the one that I'm wearing. And this one then is Trendy Mauve. Let's just pull this whole thing out. Want to? Because underneath here is a little makeup bag that goes in your purse. Okay, so they always give you a makeup bag. And this is this year's. So it's gold. Okay. And on the bag is also that same rose. The long comb rose. Yeah, I like you can see that. It's very shiny and beautiful. And... So this will make it a lot easier to get this stuff out now. Okay, so see if you look, you can see, I think, the Lancome Rose that's imprinted on this blush. So anyway, it comes with a little cheek brush, which I don't actually use for that. I keep them and use them for other things, you know. But I don't use them 
in the blush but it comes with it anyway in case you want to take it out um, I usually depot my Lancome blushes and put them in a Z palette but the one that comes with this one is called uh, Mocha Havana and I'm wearing it today for you okay so here's the case love it okay so you get two palettes and it tells you in the, the little book, okay, what the names of those are. Now I'm going to take off my glasses so you can see, or pull these down so you can see, and I'll tell you where I've got what, okay? And you'll be able to tell by looking what I mean by being disappointed. Look how small these are. These are tiny, okay? Here's my pinky. So your pinky can fit on there. I took a Wayne Goss in here, I crease brush. <laughs> well <laughs> you just say you gotta be very careful okay so of course of the two this one's my favorite because it actually has three mattes in it so this one the black and this brown here those are your matte shades okay so this one I have all over the this one here I have in the crease and the black I have underneath my eyelash line and lining my upper lid. Then this, the one in the gold is the shimmery. And this is a holiday palette, so I'm sure that's the reason for all of this sparkle. Okay, so on my eyelid in the middle, I have this one. In the inner corner, I have this one. And on the outside of my eyes, I have this one. They're better than the Audacity shadows, I think. But to me, they're not as good as Lancome's shadows of the past. Um, so is this set worth what it was? What I paid for it? Yes, absolutely. Their lipsticks are twenty some dollars a piece. Um, the Juicy Tubes, I don't know, I think they might be $18 or $19. I'll put the prices down here. Um, now, that's a ridiculously small Genifique. That's not going to last any time, but this is a full size. Full size, full size, full size, full size, full size. Um, the Cheek, the Blush, full size. And um, so really the only things in here that aren't full size are these palettes. And I think that their thinking on that is, is that all of these two palettes add up to be the equivalent of the three eyeshadows they gave you before. But Lancome, if you ever see this, I think I speak for everyone when I say we would rather have the three full size, nice formulation shadows back again. Um, oh, and also your brush. I suppose they're considering the brush a full-size item. Oh. Really quick, let's go through and get these shadows out so you can see them. Okay. So from this box, this that is a burn. <laughs> okay, of course, this is just a, a cream-colored base. It's hard to get my finger in there. This here has some shimmer to it, but nothing like what's in the other box. And then of course, black. And the Glitter Fest. <laughs> Ready? That one's probably the nicest one. But you know, I mean, there's just not, there's just not very much here.
and quite possibly the reason that they don't come off as nice. So these two here in this box are probably the nicest ones, but you know, with them being the small, um, it's really hard to get your brush into them. I'm dying to dig into that one, but I'm not going to. First, I'm going to go over to my friend Susan at the channel, Susan W., and check out her video and see what she has to say about the, her long comb palette um, or her long comb box, how she liked it, uh, what she thinks of hers before I get started. Okay, then, if you are not having a blessed day, please go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, Love you. See ya. Bye. Obviously, that train case is too big. Oh my gosh! Can we glue them in next time? Won't we super glue it? Now, I've got last year's brush here, so you can see it. Maybe. Maybe it went and hit under the desk because it was tired of my bowl. Gold. Woo -hoo -hoo. Talk about strobing. I'm strobing you. I'm strobing you. Woohoo! Look at the highlights! Look at the highlights! Okay, okay, so. Oh, do not eat! Do not eat this sexo! The, oh, it doesn't say sexo. This is secco. Secco. Don't eat that secco dry thing. Gosh, though, I do believe last year's brush was nicer than this year's. Wait! My lipsticks are running away! <laughs> they don't like me anymore.